Many people consider Gershwin's Porgy and Bess the first great American opera more than 80 years since its Broadway debut, and the show continues to be one of the most important 20th century operas about life, death, hope, and love in an African-American community. Here with a look at Seattle Opera's new production, please welcome Jermaine Smith. It ain't necessarily so. The things that you lie on to read in the Bible, it ain't necessarily so. Little David was small, but oh my. He fought the Goliath, who lay down and died. Little David was small, but oh my. Oh, I do. I see bamboo. Who do that or what are? Scatty war. Hailey in a way. Oh, he made his home in that vicious abdomen. Oh, Jonah, he lived in a way. Oh. Little Moses was found in a street. The child floated on water. To love Pharaoh's daughter, she fished him, she says, from the stream. Oh, I do. Has it been for the hill? Put it Scatty war. Hey, oh. Oh, we take so serially. So. They tell are you chilling? The devil's a villain, but it ain't necessarily so. To get into heaven, don't snap for no seven. Live clean, have no fault, and look at me. I take that gospel whenever it's possible, but with a grain of salt. Methuselah lived 900 years. Say, mother, who calls the living when no care will give it to no man? Which night? I'm preaching this sermon to show it ain't Nessa, taint Nessa, taint Nessa, and taint Nessa, taint Nessa, serally. Come on over. Yeah, the crew's giving you a round of applause. Ooh. How are you, Jermaine? Huh. It's good to meet you. We're a little tired right now. Do you need a moment? <laughs> <laughs> breathe in, breathe in. Huh. Tell us about your character. Okay. Well, <laughs> Sporting Life, um, it's a drug dealer. My background story on Sporting Life is that he was uh, what we call PK mm -hmm. in the black community, a preacher's kid, and that he grew up getting all these privileges from being the, the preacher's, uh, the pastor's father, right. um, son. Sorry. But then I decided I want to make my own. And then I've also um, saw that as a kid growing up, I saw people who were like holy on Sunday and then it was coming to confess. That happens sometimes. Yeah. Yes, but then, <laughs> so I go to another town. So I see each community as a different town that I tried to go to New York, coming from down in the Gullah, Louisiana area. And I wanted to go to New York and make it make it big, but I couldn't do it and I needed something. And so easiest way to get money without doing much, selling drugs or prostituting mm -hmm. females. So that's what I'm doing. So I I don't I see him as not necessarily just my goal is to be a drug dealer, but my goal is to make it, and I'm using yeah. any means I can to make it happen. Whatever's available to him yes. at that moment. Now you've played this role all over the world. Tell us about that. Yes, I have played this role over 500 times in over, <laughs> wow. over 15 different productions of the role. And I love it. I love it. I started off with the opera as a coerster, 
And I sang every role except Porgy and Bess. Well, of course, I can't sing Bess. <laughs> <laughs> but Porgy and Crown, but all the other roles I've done. And once I got to Sporting Life, it was the one that landed. That's the one that felt right. What is it about this production that keeps it so alive all of oh these years? Oh, my goodness. I tell you, Gershwin and Heyman, uh, they did, the Hayward, they did a phenomenal thing in um, the original novel with Porgy. Written, written by Hayward, um, and it's based off a real life person, mm -hmm. Samuel Smalls. Um, they called him the Goat Man. Unfortunately, he died before the book was published a year before. And what they did was to capture the essence of community with the black community, that the strength lies within community. It's almost back to the roots of tribal from Africa, where it's just a village. So what they captured in this, what you see in this opera, is that it's not just principal artists, but almost every person, every chorister is a principal because they tell the story. And you get a chance to see this love story between Porgy and Bess right. unfold. And it's so beautiful, beautiful because you're gonna walk and journey with someone who goes through something. You may identify with Bess, you may identify with Porgy, you may identify with Crown or even with Sporting Life. And with that identification, then with the community, if you look anywhere on that stage, you're gonna see an active participant that's gonna draw you right back into the storyline of the opera. And the music is so amazing and your oh. performance is terrific. Thank oh you so goodness. much for coming in and doing that for us. Of course. Is that hard to do early in the day? Huh? Get well, those notes? Well, listen, <laughs> if you got to sing at 10, you better be up by four <laughs> or five. You get wake warmed that body, up. Yeah, get that body warmed up. It was fun listening to yes. you warm up today. Thank you so much. Oh. Seattle Opera's production of Porgy and Bess runs from August 11th through the 25th at McCall Hall. Thank you once more. Still ahead, get fit like a pro wrestler. Two guys from Defy Wrestling share their workout tips after a quick break.